Welcome everyone. Now it's widely known that the 15th of September is the 8th anniversary of the brutal murders of two British backpackers on the Thai island of Koh Tao. But what has been the fate of the two young Burmese scapegoats, Zorlin and Wai Pyo, over these past eight years? And what has been done to try to help them? Keep viewing for a number of updates. To bring all viewers up to speed, on Christmas Eve 2015, the scapegoats or hostages were convicted and sentenced to death. They then lost a final appeal in Thailand's Supreme Court in August of 2019. Following this, there were reports of a number of organisations and people preparing appeals to Thailand's King Maha Vajralongkorn for clemency and or reduced sentences and or full pardons. It appeared that none of those appeals to the King received a response. But in August of 2020, as part of a very wide general amnesty, all death sentences in Thailand were commuted to life sentences pursuant to a royal pardon to celebrate the birthdays of King Rama X and his mother. Near the end of this video, I will give some news of continuing efforts to seek full royal pardons for both Zor Lin and Wai Pyo. But right now, let's look at the various ways in which many people have been supporting the young men during their incarceration. One very simple way in which people have been able to demonstrate their support for the guys is via the exchange of mail. This is something which is really helpful for them because life in the prison is extraordinarily boring and they love to learn about other people's lives and they love to get news from the outside world. Prison visits from the guy's mothers and supporters provide a huge boost to their morale. But of course, due to COVID-19 travel restrictions, the mothers have remained in Myanmar for several years now. In addition, funds have to be raised to finance such visits for the destitute mothers. On the 30th of August 2022, this story appeared in Burma News International, or BNI. And the headline read, Families struggle to afford visits to Arakanese pair serving life sentences for Thailand murders. Now, the story is not 100% up to date because fundraising is in fact in progress to finance a fresh visit from the guy's mothers. The mothers live in two separate villages on Ramri Island in Rakhine State, Myanmar. It takes about two hours by boat to get to the villages from the major town of Kyaukpu, and the boats need to travel in opposite directions. Now, for those of you who are history buffs, Ramri Island is the site of the infamous Ramri Island Massacre of 1945, in which hundreds of Japanese soldiers were eaten by saltwater crocodiles as their garrison made a deadly escape from a larger British and Indian force. I won't read through the story aloud, but feel free to pause the video over the two screenshots if you wish. Over the past eight years, a number of very kind and generous ladies have been providing their own funds to pay into the young men's prison accounts so that they're able to buy additional food and water because quite frankly, as most people know, Thai prisons do not supply enough clean water and food for prisoners to maintain a healthy weight. So these ladies have been providing their own funds for food and water and also uh, to pay for the mothers to visit the young men. Sometimes they don't have enough money uh, I am not ever involved in any fundraising of my own, but uh, if you wish to contact Sue Buchanan via her Facebook account, uh, 
there is a link in the description below and if for any reason they don't need any funds at any given point in time I will leave a note to that effect in the description below. Turning back to the issue of full royal pardons for the two young scapegoats, it seems that in late August and early September of 2022, there were a number of rumours circulating around Myanmar to the effect that the King of Thailand, uh, King Maha Bajiralongkorn, had not only granted full pardons, but that the two young scapegoats had been awarded substantial damages. Unfortunately, those rumours were completely false. However, in recent months, I have written to dozens of the world's top diplomats seeking their assistance in making polite requests to King Rama X seeking those pardons. I created a 32 minute video about that letter writing campaign featuring this thumbnail. The diplomats I focused on all had at least one citizen who died on Koh Tao. My primary focus was on the German government given that King Rama X has spent a considerable amount of time as a guest of Bavaria in recent years and given that government's strong commitment to human rights. Obviously, a great deal more has happened over the past eight years. There have been massive protests within Myanmar and beyond Myanmar. In addition, hundreds of videos have been made about the murders of Hannah Withridge and David Miller and about other murders on the island of Koh Tao. Documentaries have been produced about Koh Tao, countless articles have been written, and of course the book The Curse of the Turtle has been published.